Hey, what's up, everybody? Joey JP here, checking in live, man. RespectMyRegion.com. We're coming to you guys live from the 2024 Flower Expo showroom floor. We're in Greenfield, Mass. I have no idea where I'm at, but we got two new friends here, special guests, Zahara Cannabis. Thomas, Michael, how are you guys doing today? Great, man. I, I appreciate you guys joining me today. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know nothing about your cannabis company. I don't know much about geography here in Massachusetts. So this is an easy, fun interview. Who are you guys? Yep. Where are you based? And what do you do? Yeah, no, we're only two years in business. You know, we're a retail only adult use shop. So we're out of Attleboro, Massachusetts, at the middle of um, like Southern, like more closer to the Rhode Island Bowl here. Okay. Providence, so. Okay, okay. We're up in the South Shore of Mass and all of our uh, friends over on the Providence side, they all grew up. I love it. Or five, so. Yeah, we've got uh, one location right now and we've got our own kind of cannabis curated brand that uh, we middle. So I'll hold that one closer to you. Yeah. Hold that one closer to you. You're good now. So, so you guys are down there towards Rhode Island, Providence, yeah. South Shore area, all this down there, the South of Providence. That's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. What do you We got Nova Farms right there near us. So okay. A couple other shops near our top edition, but people have been around for two years, so we're doing well, though. That's fun. That's fun. Are you guys from that area? I'm in Plainville, just, just the next town over. Next town over? Yeah. Exciting. Central Mass. Went out to California, came back to do the legal cannabis thing, so. But, yeah, no, working for Zahara, we have uh, uh, literally the best menu around. There's any brand that you're trying to work with, we basically carry it, uh, at least sell them by them. And I try to make sure that anything that, you know, gets famous in this state, that we have, you know, a cut of it. At absolutely, absolutely. You know, there's some big name guys out here, you know, a lot of multi-state. But we like to find, you know, the smaller, kind of more curated, family-run businesses like that. We find a lot of good stuff that we're able to put out on our cannon bar, too. So we do, like, a display style. Okay. And we have, like... You know, like, if you were to buy it by the scoop, basically, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying so. so. I like that. That's exciting. It's something, you know, like a 30% and up on some of the kind of our strains yeah. at Iraqu. So, yeah, no, it definitely is uh, trying to go for a little bit more of that West Coast vibe that, you know, a lot of our, our customers are looking for, you know, not just a good product, but yeah, yeah. the experience, too. And, and here in Massachusetts, you guys are always talking tax. Right? That's the thing, right? You're talking tats. Actually, it's total active cannabinoid, right? So, when you say 30%ers, you're talking to tat, correct? So, we're talking to like, oh, I'm probably T. Is it always THC here or are we talking tat? I don't go with it. Like, so, we got, we got a THC right here. Was that, so when you said 30%, what were you referencing? 30%, the only advertisable number is usually the THC. Okay. We don't want to advertise tat and have people coming back to us and be like, oh, this number's less. So what we do to get around that. Talk THC. Exactly. All right. I just had to clarify. Oh, nice. Nice. It's a pleasant surprise. It's yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. So we're always super upfront about what, you know, what you're getting. But we are the other active cannabinoids too. At least people know what it is. Of course. Because, because the, the foundation of this is that THC is not everything. Yeah. No, it right? is. You know. Out here in, the, in Massachusetts, we're, we're hip to the facts that THC is I, I was not going to assume otherwise I know we know, but I just always am hearing people talk that. I always hear, tag, 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 total active cannabis, which I do like that number, but I do feel like it's a little deceiving because yeah. people are buying for THC. That's what they're thinking. That's what they're buying. Like the high portion. Yeah. They're active cannabinoids, it's CBD. Or oh, which, which apply, which apply, which apply, but they do. It's not well, what we're going for. Well, if you're attacking at 32, but the THC is only 24, 25, then it's like, okay. What's going on over here? You know what I mean? Are those terpenes really that high? Or there's that many you can have in a few of the facilities are. And they just saves the regs too. So there's always this cat and mouse game between the regulators and of course. the state facilities. So. Shout out, shout out the testing, shout out the legislation. How, how do you guys curate products for your store? You, you mentioned you're looking for the smaller operators. You're looking for a, a more of a curation, maybe less of an MSO vibe, if that is a phrase. What, yeah, well, what do you look for in these partnerships? Well, I think the biggest, most important thing is, I mean, the flower, right? At the end of the day, it all comes down to what you're actually giving the customer. Um, I think that, you know, the fact that cannabis is long time and, you know, legal cannabis anyways, thought of something inaccessible, priced out, and, but we are doing a lot to try to bring that price down. We have, you know, obviously the best cuts of the best cuts. If you know what you're talking about, you want to come in, you want to get something that's worthwhile. You know, we can provide that customer and we can provide for somebody who's just, you know, they're coming in after work. They just want to grab a quick aid and, uh, you know, they don't want to be spending through the roof on just having something to smoke. So I think 
that. And then obviously, you know, the new craze of vaporizers, man. Everybody, you can't give an up. It's so subtle. It's like the disposables. They're ready to use. Disposables, man. The disposable market in Massachusetts is like skyrocketing. So no, definitely, I would say one of the better, uh, one of the better kind of markets to tap into. A lot of people never used cannabis before. Starts with disposables. So. Uh, yeah, down it. And obviously, we got that city vibe being so close to Providence. So, we got plenty of people who are just trying to get, you know, quick something, something, and then be on their way. So, I love it. I love it. No, we have a good variety. We don't try to carry the same stuff as every other shop as well. You know, we try to be unique in our own way and have our own, you know, paths forward of how we want to operate as a business. So, yeah. And well, Cross so. out. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear, man. I have good relationship with the vendors that we have. We do vendor days, a bunch of, you know, promotions and events and stuff like that as well. We have our, Second year anniversary coming up too. We're doing an event on 720. So, oh wow, wow. congratulations! That'll be yeah, good. We had our 420 event, which was really successful as well. So, you know, it's uh, but they're fun. It's exciting. You know, Matt, yeah. this park is different. I worked in Colorado and in Oregon. You know, he's you've been all over the place too. So it's like, you know, to see the different markets that you've stayed, it's it's, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, those perspectives that we bring from these other markets to this to this place is invaluable in a lot of ways. We've seen it. Maybe we haven't seen it, but there's different ways to solve problems, right? And yeah. what's cool about these individual local markets that are on the rise is how much they can learn, but also, too, the unique perspectives that they have because of their local culture of how they solve problems, right? The, you know, the way that they solve things up in Humboldt is different from here. But in some ways, there's a lot of things that are, that are similar and overlap. It's just subtleties that change from region to region, from the flower or maybe in extraction or maybe in beverage or whatever it is. Flavors and palates tend to be a, a major thing. New markets, brings new innovators and new ideas. And uh, sometimes, you know, obviously the best rice up and uh, everybody ends up kind of conforming to whatever works, uh, you know, the best. So, well, the best rises up is a good way to summarize this interview. We're going to Terp check you guys officially. Oh, yeah. The bottom blue Terp check section of this video. What is good enough to make it in your guys' bags? So what's in your bag, fellas? Terp check. I guess I, I, what do we got? Got the bonsai blunt pink. We got a pink. We got a pink blunt. This is from Nature's Heritage, yeah. No, that's uh, from you guys. It's bonsai. Perpetual bonsai brand is uh, bonsai. What are we checking? Sure. An actual blunt. So this actually has a glass tip that's made with uh, what was it? And wrap. So green soup. Oh, look at this. Okay. Are you just the uh, it was uh, I'm, uh, Okay. Okay. Well, okay. You know, almost two percent terps. Thirty. Cool. Not too shabby, right there, huh? Tacking thirty-four. There we go. Yeah. He said we're tacking. I like that. I like how we turn that into a verb. That was super cool. I've never heard that before. That's popping too. Okay, my friend. What are you? What are? What are you? What are you terp checking over here? We gotta make sure you guys are smoking some fire. Make sure we're good. I mean, this shit, but no, that's what. But that's what we pulled. I liked it. That was an impressive one. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it. What we got? I ended up with uh, da, 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 the jelly donuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, 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 so the donut, like fair sun bro. Yeah. Green Rock. DBA, Green Rock Cannabis, Rockland, Massachusetts, jelly donut. Are we cool to pop it and smell? That's, right, well, that's a good cut. I do. It. You do that. It does smell. Thanks. Yeah. Really good it does smell super fruity. Yeah. That's a good big to improve it. Wow. My doves. That's doing it, man. You got it. This is your joint. You hit the dry pole. What are we what are we smelling and tasting? Yeah. Oh. You got a little bit of essence and maybe some cream tea mixed in with a kind of a ventilated kind of flavor. Yeah. Now for echoes of sherbety ice cream in there too. Echoes. Echoes of sherbety ice cream. Del, I would say a hybrid, if not a sativa, on the, on the flavor. Oh, no, we right down the middle. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. They do a good job. What a great description. That definitely makes me interested in smoking that, tasting that. And I, I, I'm sure that your guys' experience at the store is going to be curated in a way, too, where terpene-driven, flavor, yeah. flavor-driven, experience-driven. So That's why we have the deli-style candy bar, man. So our oh, price point for you, you know, we definitely have value, but we also bring premium to the table and, you know, good variety and such. So you definitely come check it out. And we're definitely going to have to make some time to do that. Because I've never been down there. I am going to go down to wherever Green Meadows was at. I don't know if that's close or far, but I'm, I would love to go down to your guys' area. We'll have to go visit. Thank you guys for being on the show. It was a pleasure. I'm Joey J.P. We got Thomas. We got Michael. Yeah. This is official Terp Check Flower Expo. Today's journey brought to you guys by Bottle Bloom and Trees. We'll see you on the next episode, okay? We out. Peace. Peace.